Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed um, watching the video so far about our artist Peter Max. His artwork is definitely um, very colorful and fun to look at um, and it just makes you happy, I think. So what we're going to do is uh, keep that momentum going and we are going to um, kind of play like a fun activity. We're going to use this handout, um, which you can see later in this video, you can hit pause so you have a chance to look at it while you work. Um, but what we're going to do is pick at least one image, one thing from each of these columns to incorporate into our artwork. Now, I always like to give you a lot of options. So if you are thinking, mm, Mrs. Spooner, I'm not very excited about drawing hearts, um, feel free to change the first shape. It can be a star, a circle, um, you could trace your hand if you'd like. Um, use your imagination, it's completely up to you. These are just a guide to kind of get you going because I don't want you to stress about what you're drawing. I want you to just um, have fun. So uh, what we're going to do first, let's see, is start with our heart shape. Now, when I was doing my heart, um, at first I wanted to have a symmetrical heart, meaning that it's the same curve on both sides. So uh, to do that, I folded a sheet of scrap paper in half, and I, where the fold is, I drew half of a heart right here. I cut it out and when I opened it up, I had a heart the shape that I wanted it to be. So, let's see. Um, over here, I placed my heart directly in the center. It was my focal point. Um, this time, for the example, I'm going to switch it up a little bit because why not? Um, so I'm going to use my template for this one. Now I'm using a, a marker so that you can see my drawing, um, but I think it's best to always start with a pencil. So if you make a mistake or if you're overlapping, um, you're able to erase your pencil lines. Let's see, um, these call for something around the heart, some kind of a border. Let's see, I'm gonna go on the inside this time. Make some lines on the inside. Okay, let's see. Um, since I see here that I have um, some wings on these hearts, I'm going to draw one more smaller heart right here. I'm just going to freehand this one. Okay. Let's see, and I'm going to choose the flapping wing. Again, yours does not have to look exactly like the picture. Um, this handout is just meant to be your inspiration. Let's see, in the next column, I'm going to choose the zigzag at the top. Let's see. And as we saw earlier in the video, um, sometimes Peter Max liked to incorporate landscapes in his artwork. So I'm going to kind of make this look like maybe the top of a mountain. Just kind of let the drawing flow. Don't worry about planning it out too much. Just kind of see what happens as you work on it. Um, let's see, I'm going to do some of these far out waves next. Let me make it look like they're 
circling behind the heart. I'm going to put a sun peeking out from behind the mountain. Now, if you'd want to use a ruler, um, you are welcome to do that. Uh, if you don't have a ruler, but you have something with a straight edge, and you want to use that to get a cleaner line, you are welcome to do that. As always, I want you to use whatever tools you have on hand. There is no wrong way to do this. So I honestly didn't have a plan for this one and I think it's turning out kind of cool. Okay, let's see. And in the next column, maybe I'll add some flowers in the corner. I think they're going off the page. Um, if you want to add more than one of those things, you can. Let's see, I'm going to put a star. Okay. So, as long as you have at least one from each column, um, Feel free um, to stop right there. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is start to color it. Now, remember Peter Max's work is very bright and vibrant, right? He uses lots of color. Um, and uh, as I said earlier in the video, um, he had something called synesthesia, where he could actually um, see music and hear color. Um, so he was very drawn to, to dramatic colors. So I want you to use colors that make you feel good. Um, as always, you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, um, whatever you have on hand. If you'd like to watercolor or use oil pastels, feel free to use anything that you have. All right, now as you color, um, there is one technique that I would like you to try somewhere in your artwork. I'm going to write down what the word is. It's called gradation. And gradation is a way of shading where you go from dark to light or light to dark. So with my crayon right now, I'm going to press very hard to make it as dark as I can. And I'm slowly going to apply less and less and less and less pressure until it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. I'll try that one more time. It's probably best to use a colored pencil or a crayon for this because you're able to ap apply as much pressure or as little pressure as you want. So gradation is where you go from dark to light or light to dark. So somewhere in your uh, picture, I'd like you to try this technique. Let's see. Maybe right here, I'm going to press very hard on the edge of the heart, and I'm slowly going to fade into light. So I'm doing a gradation right here on the inside of this heart. Now you don't have to do that for every component, um, but I'd like you to do it in at least a couple spots. So one last thing I'd like to show you um, before I set you on your own 
is this. Um, if you would like to collage other images on top, um, you are welcome to do that. Right here I have uh, I did a planet and I cut that out and put it right there. I also have earth that I'm going to collage onto this somewhere over here. Um, and since I am so excited about it finally being 2021 and hopeful for a great new year, um, I decided to write some bubble letters um, uh, of some words of things that I would like to see more of in the new year. Um, so the first one is smiles. I'd like to see more of those in 2021. Um, notice I did the gradation technique on my letters. I also did the gradation technique on the planets. Um, in addition to smiles, I'd like to see a lot more kindness. So I'm going to collage that onto there. And um, we could all use a lot of love. So I hope, um, I hope that you enjoy doing this, and I can't wait to see what amazing artwork you come up with. So uh, cheers to 2021 and good vibes.